looks and she says, You wouldn't believe this, but yes. They came to took our lands. They drove us out. This is they? why we will take them back. Who were they? Like, I, I'm genuinely asking. Shore walkers, just like you. You don't even know where I'm from. It doesn't matter. You're all the same to me. You all look the same, you all act the same, you stink the same, you lie the same. I would argue due, about that. You all bleed the same when you're slaughtered on our altars. With all due respect, if I can define the difference between your particular clan that wanted to subjugate every other clan, and the ones that were not so keen on being subjugated, the least you can do is put a little effort in in differentiating between various shore walkers. <laughs> Show me the courtesy that I'm showing you. I don't see any reason to show your kind any sort of courtesy. Your life here... can be pleasant or very unpleasant. You can actually live. There is actually a way out for you. You realize that, don't you? What? Are you saying you will let me free and let me return to my people? Because somehow I doubt that. I never said you were going to be free. It's the only way for me to live. No. You have the option to live a life of service to these lizard folk. That is <laughs> an actual genuine option. I would never serve these half-creatures. Curious. Um, your goddess, how will she respond in the event that you meet her and she learns that you have failed <laughs> to conquer these, how did you describe them, these half creatures? Will she be satisfied, do you think? She will be satisfied because I will not fail her. Really? We are going to conquer this shithole. Now and that's we all will very important. conquer all of the cities along the coast. Really? <laughs> oh, I'm saying things. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you grab one and I'll grab the other. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Please don't let us stop you. <laughs> you seem to be getting somewhere. <laughs> Hearing in the background. <laughs> Uh, by the way, did anyone take note of the name that she uttered? The, the god. Yeah. Because she, she, no, no, she uttered the name of the the monstery thing that they summoned. Uh, uh. It started with an S or something. Yeah. Pretty sure. Hang on. My my brain computed it, and then my brain has now properly archived it. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's like box to something. More off. of Sekalith or Sekalith? Mm -hmm. Sekulov sounded right. Yeah. Sekulov is the goddess, and the more of Sekulov is the avatar of the goddess. So it's yep. what they call the yeah. Yeah. avatar of the goddess. Yeah. Well, you come. Well, I say you come here. We dragged you here. And I have absolutely no regrets doing so, because the other option is that I just would have killed you where you stood. The only reason you're actually alive is because, you know, there was the possibility that you might actually be of some, you know, chance, although it seems to be increasingly slim, that you might be able to make things right. Oh, I'm making things right. By What's taking that? our land back and destroying all those who stand in our way. Yes, because I'm sure your little Mora Sekuloth is really going to stand that much of a chance against uh, this entire army of lizard folk. That very angry barbarian who just loves to 
Look, there has been many talk of twisting. Many, <laughs> many talk of twisting. My minage dog is egg leg just perks up as he says twisting. <laughs> well, was that the signal? What the twisting? <laughs> Does it have a twist? <laughs> also, if you believe what you want, Shaw Walker. Doom will find you soon enough. You're not the first to say that. Also, our wonderful ranger friend, he came into your fortress with all of us drunk. <laughs> Imagine what he could do sober. I'm never sober. You really think that we're all that concerned about your pathetic little moor? <laughs> give me, oh god, give me a persuasion check. Uh, can I give him enhance ability before he does it? Yes. I give him guidance. And he can have guidance. You're all there. Yes, yes, do it. Still rolling that once again. Uh, I mean, I kind of want him to fail just so we can turn her, but... I'd roll a d4. Uh, I had guidance as well, didn't I? Yeah. That's a yep. 1d4? Yeah. Yeah, 1d4. Nice. Alright, 22. Um... She... She just doesn't answer. She just stays silent. Well, looks like you gave her options. You gave her a chance. It's her choice to make. If you want to make things right, and you can make things right, you don't have to await the torture that your goddess is going to give you when it turns out that she discovers you failed. You can make things right. Talk to the queen. I'm not They're the gonna... one who has to atone or make things right. It's and the who does? Who present the lizards. And how are they supposed to do this? Give back our lands. Bow to our rule become our servants. If you're not prepared to serve them, why would they serve you? And right now, they've got far less reason to be serving. Oh, they will be serving. There's no doubt about that. And why should I serve lesser creatures? I, I say we just let her meet her god and see what she says afterwards. I'm, I'm, I'm tiring of these antics. She's not budging. Mm, she, she's got more than a stick up her butt. Mm. Um, what was the other information we were meant to try to glean? We wanted to find out info of the avatar. We got the name and the identity of it. What mm -hmm. else did we need to get? I'm just trying to recall. Basically how strong it is, approximately. Yep. Oh. Thank you either what she used, like how specifically she summoned it, what she used to summon it, yeah. like how strong it might be. Yeah. There's a problem with- oops, sorry, one moment. <laughs> twist it. Twist it now. <laughs> and twist. <laughs> <laughs> and twist. <laughs> like like <laughs> um, Janice, you feel a a slight tug on your sleeve as gonna... the servant is like trying to get your attention. I'm going to look over. She whispers something in in um in Sahagwin. Like you can't understand, but she's like trying to draw a symbol on the wall of of her uh, cell. And it's the symbol of the sea thieves. And she seems to be trying to tell you something. Okay, is there anything I can decipher from that symbol? It's just the symbol of the sea thieves and that she wants to talk to you about it. Okay. Yes, Louis. Louis. Yeah, Louis, yes, can, can you get Louis out and see if he can speak there in some way? He's in, he's in my bag. I'm just keeping an eye out on the priestess with a spell prepared. 
All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna reach into his bag, grab Louis out, and just ask him. Louis, to yeah. Talk to her. Louis looks at her, and like her eyes go wide, and she like looks a bit confused. But after a moment, she seems to understand what's going on, and actually seems to be, you know, fairly interested. Like she actually suddenly looks quite a bit curious um, about that lobster. <laughs> And um, they they are quiet for a while and seem to be quite intently communicating. And after a while, Louis um, turns to you, Janice, and basically gives you the look like, do you want to know or should I talk to someone else? <laughs> after this, come on. All right. Um, in your mind, you get images of um, a few, like a big pirate ship uh, landing outside, trading with the high priestess, and the servant girl was there because mm -hmm. the um, because she was attending the baroness, and um, they have been trading many things. But she does remember very specifically there was a lot of arguing about a specific box that they had that the Sahagwins um, were trying, like trading to the um, the pirates, and there seemed to be a lot of arguing about the price or you know about um, how much was promised for the chest and. He shows you the image of the chest in your mind. Mm. You've s it's not the same chest, but you have seen a chest that is very similar. The chest of the disc, right? Yep. Did you leave it at the temple or pick out with us? Uh, it's this with is perfect. <laughs> All right. Do we, we we left the chest at the temple? Didn't we? You just said that, right? I thought you brought it. Or, no, we brought it with us, didn't we? Yeah, we brought, yeah. We brought yeah. it with us because it we found that case, it was uh, compromised. I'm going to trust. grab the chest out. All right. And I'm going to go into the cage where Brathar is. Um, so you told me that your goddess has been summoned, right? The the more of Sekleth as you describe it. She's here on this an plane avatar, now. An avatar of our goddess. Yes, yes, yes. Whatever you call it. We're not really caring about names. They've been summoned, right? And you're very confident that they have been summoned, right? Yes. Of course. What makes you so sure? It was our goddess's hand guiding our ri guiding my ritual. Hmm. I have communed with my goddess all life. Of course I know who she is. And is there anything in particular that you needed to do this ritual? She starts to answer, but then stops herself. And, um... Just says, that ritual is none of your business. I know you're trying to get information out of me. See, I've already got the information I need. And I know that there's a pretty big possibility that your goddess has not been summoned. Because you do not have the requirements to do your ritual. She she says, if you already think you know everything, why don't you just leave me in peace then? At this point, I'm just going to like take out the chest. <laughs> like, She's put it in front wonderful. of her face. She's ah. very much still. Ratha, would you mind? I will um, gag her and <laughs> lift up the e blindfold. I feel like you're just pulling the blindfold down. <laughs> just stuff it in his mouth. More or less. <laughs> no, no, no. It, it, there's a method. You gag it first and then, like, you don't have to surround all these spellcasts. So we've got to make sure we do this properly. My, yeah, my bad. Like, safety's first. <laughs> Yeah. 
too much experience around spellcasters. <laughs> <laughs> fair, fair. Um, yeah, you gag her, you take the blindfold off, and she looks at you. Um, you see her eyes, they are like pretty bloodshot. Um, uh, but she gives you like a very hateful glare. <laughs> and you, she, she sees the disc. Well, she sees the chest, I didn't open it. Oh, you did. You didn't open it. Okay. No, she I doesn't want the location to be known. Say anything. Like she just stares at all of you. Now, on our adventures as a party, we've come across this chest, in which we found out that, you know, it was needed for a ritual to summon a god, an avatar. But you needed three people. Sound familiar? She frowns and she shakes her head. No, not at all. Hmm. Nope. Interesting. Can I inside check that? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's lying. <laughs> nope. All right. Um. She, surprisingly enough, does not seem to be lying. Hmm. So you're telling me you didn't need three parts to make a disc to summon your goddess? She just shakes her head. Hmm. She tries to say something, but, you know, then gives up. <laughs> hmm. I'll, uh, blindfold down, gag off. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I don't know what kind of god would be so pathetic to need three discs. Oh, your god, uh, your goddess only required the one, did she? Our goddess didn't require any discs. Boris, she must have used one of those more inadequate summoning procedures. You know the type I'm talking about. You've dealt with these kind of heretics before. <laughs> Possibly. I'm old. I might not <laughs> about it. So, I'm an old dwarf! <laughs> exactly what a dwarf. Why are you that... asking? Sorry, dude. What were you asking? Why are you asking this? Oh, I'm just trying to egg her on to... Oh. Oh. Yeah, she doesn't react. So, that day on the docks then, when you were dealing with the pirates, and your baroness was there, and they were arguing about trading for a chest, you were there, yes? She hesitates, and then she nods. And that chest was very familiar to this chest, was it not? She nods. So... Why would you need a chest that's familiar to this chest if you don't need the disc? No, no, she sold the chest. She sold the chest to the pirates. She didn't buy the chest. The oh. pirates bought the chest from her. She traded the chest for more weapons and a bunch of silk and glitter stuff for the Baroness and some other shit. Oh, oh wait, sorry, well. she, was she was the one trading the chest. She was selling the chest, yes, sorry. Ah, uh, okay, I misunderstood the, the vision-y thing. Me too. All good. Sorry, my bad. Yes, well, she was selling it. There goes my, uh... <laughs> <laughs> there was your attempt, yeah? It was pretty good. It was yeah. a good attempt. That just nope, threw it she in was the water. selling it. Should we give Stalgic a try? <laughs> I just really want to murder her! <laughs> okay. Either we murder her here, or we basically reconvene next week, because it is getting to a point where I feel like if we keep going, it's probably going to keep going for like another half an hour. <laughs> and it has hit 10pm, so I'm going to ask either we wait, 
or we do something else. How about you murder her and we end on the cliffhanger of her coming back? <laughs> she's not coming back from that. <laughs> she's uh, coming not from the twist. There. I don't know what damage numbers you need to roll, but it's a lot. <laughs> I mean, I'm... Revivify, I think, wouldn't work if her head was cut off, for example, because it doesn't regrow limbs and stuff. I'm not yeah. sure. I don't remember. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna opt. Yeah. I'm gonna opt for a not murdering her. Alright. <laughs> Let's leave it at this, then. Alright. And reconvene next time when you had some more horrible ideas of dealing with Oh, the idea won't core change. priestess. <laughs> She's given us some pretty good information already. The core idea won't change. <laughs> Alright. Thank you very much for DMing tonight, Scaraba. This was good fun. Uh, thanks everyone for playing. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed. Uh, we've been live for 3 hours and 23 minutes right now. So, oh, yes. We've been playing for quite some time. <laughs> Time to sleep. <laughs> Time to sleep, almost, yes. Um, I do want to just double check because, Blood, you've already said yes about tomorrow. Andy, would you be available for switching Thursday night to tomorrow instead? Thursday night? Yeah. What was planned for Thursday? Because you sandbox. signed up for the sandbox event. I you did. must have accidentally signed up for it. <laughs> I must have accidentally, sorry. Close to late. Alright, that's alright, that's fine. If you're not if you're not coming, that's perfectly fine. I don't need to find out. Um Alright, cool. You're In not case, allowed to come. I mean you can <laughs> come if you want. For everyone, I don't know. It's just a it's just a come and try D D event where basically if you're new you can come and try. If you're you know not new, you can just come and mess around with different classes and races and have fun for like a few hours and she gets to know <laughs> without having to worry about you know quest well, continuity and stories and stuff like that <laughs> essentially nah, he just treated like history well he yeah, died it's, it's not that I'm apprehensive of murdering you guys but you know if it happens it happens sorry Sook um <laughs> <laughs> wait did you die you know that one time I sent the T-Rex after you guys and he could he, be cleanly uh, He wasn't there. I wasn't there, yeah, but I Oh, he yeah. wasn't there, yeah. He wasn't there, yeah. sorry. That I is... already muted someone. Yeah. But... Oops. <laughs> anyway. But it's a lot more fun uh, in... I wasn't in... there either. I was not here for <laughs> in this. In sandbox. I suppose that's another story that needs to be spoken about. <laughs> Go watch the episode. <laughs> Go watch the yep, episode. it's all on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yes, in that case, we will probably be live again tomorrow night for the Sandbox from Hell event, which is um, going to be starting at 6.30 p.m. Australian Central Daylight Time. Um, if you guys want to come check it out, if is anyone in this chat is interested in joining us, I'm pretty sure we have about two or three open spaces left. Um, it's just a quick come and try event where you can come and try D&D or come and try races, classes, and just have a bunch of fun. Um, and then we've got, what have we got? We've got Final Fantasy 14, I think Thursday and Friday, as well as some more D&D on Saturday. So come check it out. It all starts 6.30 p.m. Australian Central Daylight Time. And thanks everyone for tuning in tonight. Um, once again, thanks for playing guys and thanks for DMing Scaraba. And I will see you guys, some of you tomorrow and I'll see some of you Thursday and Friday. Hell yeah. Let's Take care. Go. All right. Bye. And Goodbye for now. Bye. See ya.